water temperature 69.2 degrees. Crabs are in slightly deeper water. I'm getting them more in 5.7 to 7 feet with an occasional in 10 and an occasional in 5. First run was 9 crabs, second run was 5 crabs and I'm on the third run I got 2 so far. So that should put me at 16 crabs right now. I'd like to at least get 3 dozen. If I get more it's gravy. That was in 5.4 feet. That was in six feet. Five. Okay, I have another successful uh, crabbing trip. Didn't expect to get as many as I did. I was expecting only three dozen or so, but I got much more than that, so that's great. So I was able to um, go ahead and uh, steam some, and then some I also prepare in this garlic butter sauce. And you put that on there, and it makes the crabs taste delicious. Um, what I normally use is I would melt some butter. I have some emerald seasoning, just the regular, not any special variation of it. Garlic powder, just a little bit of uh, ground black pepper. Wouldn't be crabs without some Old Bay and some either olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, or you know if you got some vegetable oil, canola oil, that's fine. So we're basically going to um, take, I take a container like this and I put some butter in there, some um, vegetable oil, melt it, mix it up, blend it thoroughly, and then I add the other dry ingredients to it. And then I use just this little tool to dab the uh, butter garlic mix on top of the crabs. I preheat the oven to 350 degrees and I put everything on a tray like this. This is just a regular metal sheet pan and I covered it with some foil just to make it easy to clean up afterwards. All right, I also have the star of the uh, recipe, the Maryland Blue Crab. This guy has been in the uh, cooler on ice, so he's not even moving. He's very lethargic. If I heat him up, he'll start moving, trust me. So anyway, basically what you're going to have to do with this crab, you're going to have to dispatch it or, you know, take the top off and clean the guts inside. This is not steamed whole like you would uh, normally cook a crab. 
So anyway, let's get these little buggers cleaned up and then we'll go from there. I like taking off these little sharp edges and I take off the front where the mouth is. Sometimes I break this little piece off too. All right, that's the first set. Now we gotta make our little slurry, which is just the ingredients mixed all together in a nice thick liquid that we can just baste on top of the crabs. Put it in the oven 15 minutes, and that's it. Now what I also do, occasionally I would put a crab cake in the middle of this cavity. So when it all bakes, you not only have the garlic crabs, but you got a crab cake in the middle. I'll do that on another episode. Now I have all my ingredients here. It's gonna take like maybe two tablespoons of butter. Two heaping tablespoons. Just depends on how much mixture you need on the amount of crabs that you are, are gonna cook. I normally cook about a dozen on this tray. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna melt it. Then I'm gonna add the extra virgin olive oil to it. So I'm gonna cover this up. Leave a little hole here to vent a little steam. This is only to prevent the butter from splattering. Well, I got the uh, melted butter out of the microwave. Take, just taking the top off, see the steam coming out. And I'm just probably going to add equal parts of um, olive oil. You don't have to get tied up with the exact ingredients because um, it all depends on how much you're going to use and it's going to taste good regardless. I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil in this case because that's what I had. And I'm gonna add about, this is about a third of a cup. So I'll probably add about a third of a cup also of the extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Close enough, about two thirds. It could be a little less. Also, it just depends on how thick you want your slurry. Then I'm gonna add some of the ground black pepper. Maybe only about a teaspoon. All right, that's all. And then I'll probably add about a tablespoon of this um, emerald seasoning. It's the original essence, as you can see. salt because Old Bay has salt in it. So um, I'm just going to go in and add probably about, eh, about a, not a tablespoon, yeah about a tablespoon. That'll give you good. Again, the measurements aren't as important. The main two ingredients is the butter. It's really a butter garlic crab. And garlic powder. Now, garlic powder, you want a lot of that. At least a tablespoon in this. Okay, got a tablespoon. So now I have everything inside here. I'm gonna mix it all up. You can add a little red wine vinegar if you like, maybe a tablespoon or so, but um, it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna stir this up. Hopefully you can see how this is. You can see all the texture in the mixture. Mix it real well, real good. Okay, that's it. Bake this oven, preheated for 350. Now we're going to take this pan 
and I normally put about 12 crabs on here but for this demonstration before I do all the rest I'm only putting four mixture I'll add another coating of dry coating of garlic powder and emerald seasoning so basically just you know see I'm just dabbling it get all the legs crab cake in here I would make sure I do not baste on top of the crab cake I do not want to baste on top of the crab cake if I put one inside oh, I think I just heard the oven it's now set to 350 it's ready for these guys okay so just like I said I'll add another layer of over the legs and a layer of garlic powder Top. And get on the inside and get a little cavity there. All right, so I got that. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna add a little bit of that emerald seasoning on top too. That's very good. Just a little dusting. It's basically, what we're doing just putting a dusting on here. All right. The seasoning is going to stick to the butter mixture. And if you want to add a little touch of Old Bay on top, that's fine too. But right now, I'm going to put these in the oven, right in the middle, 15 minutes, and they should be done. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Let's go see how it's coming along. Just about ready. All right, I'm gonna have to finish up the rest of the crabs. I have a second oven at the bottom, so I'm gonna put those in. And um, at least you see how these were done. These are just about done, they're red. I'm just gonna put them in there another three minutes and pull them out. And uh, that's the butter garlic crabs. Time to take them out. Here we go. Here you go. Garlic butter crabs. Well, I hope the person who sent me a comment in my YouTube page that they want to see how to do the uh, butter garlic crabs. I hope they enjoyed it. I got this idea to make this video from them. So until next time, eat more tasty crustaceans. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and I can make more of these videos.